Hi, I'm Liberty, and today I want to talk about the power of the human imagination. The human imagination has a great power to create unseen realities. They're unseen right now, but the future lies within the human's imagination. Neville Goddard called this faculty the Christ within. So the human imagination might have a pure vision and then set forth to put that vision into action. And the outcome will be a sort of mixture of the pure vision and what was available to the human or to humans or, you know, animals or whatever was around. Um, and then that will be the future. If you level with me for a second, take a deep breath. And really sit with what is going on right now around you. You might be able to remember a time before right now, and you might be able to guess what will happen in the future. Maybe you'll get up in the morning to go to work, or maybe you're on your way somewhere in a car. But in this moment right now, there is everything. Meaning that your past does not exist right now, and the future does not exist right now. Although you are in the moment, maybe remembering the past in this moment, you are only using your imagination. You're using your imagination when you think about the future as well. Let's imagine for a moment imagine um, that you have a goal. You know that this goal will be completed sometime in the future and and you're currently doing things in the now that you know will add up to that goal in the future. Your imagination is currently in control of the unfolding of that unseen future. If you will think about a river a droughted, maybe, valley, no water. All of a sudden, there's a spring um, at, the, at the head of a mountain. This spring of water will follow the downward slope and will find all of the paths of least resistance to make that river. Humans do this every single day. When they're focused on a goal, they choose the path of least resistance to complete that goal. You could say this is lazy, but I would say it's nature's efficiency. After all, if a lion would continue to hunt after it ate enough, why the fuck would it do that? <laughs> There's no reason to do that. I side side tan side rant. I was about to say tangent rant. Um, laziness really does not exist. We're like as humans, we're programmed to be lazy because it's energy efficiency. Uh, quite literally, it's energy efficiency. So, if anyone ever calls you lazy, just say thank you. So back to the point of human imagination and the river analogy. So humans find the paths of least resistance to get to their goal. And as humans, our resistant points are not trees and rocks, usually. I mean, they, they're they pretty hard if you run into them. But um, usually mentally, it's more of like, uh, when I was five, my dad said that I couldn't, that I was not smart enough to do this this particular thing or I personally don't feel like I have the confidence to speak in front of large large crowds or something something like that those would be our mental blocks we can increase our resilience to this resistance by opening up our minds to other cultures 
and other philosophies, and we can also develop our skills and allow ourselves to be more free, take life more lightheartedly. This increases our ability to experience flow. If you've ever heard of the concept flow, um, it is, uh, they say it's the like, the right amount of challenge for your skill set. I personally really like experiencing flow in my work when I'm drawing or illustrating or designing for a client or for myself. I really enjoy experiencing flow because it um, it feels effortless and it feels like like dancing. Well, dancing to me, other people would say that it is not like dancing because they don't like dancing, but um, yeah, it's effortless and I get to see the the illustration unfold, even if I have a vision for it or there's parameters that the client set set for the design. It still is always surprising and I think that's really exciting. Um, my work always surprises me and and my life always surprises me. I'm sure that anyone listening can can relate to like to how your life will always surprise you. Uh, they say like man makes a plan and God laughs, something like that. I it definitely happens. <laughs> it definitely happens in my life and in my work. Something really interesting about work, the clients, creativity, um, and parameters is that uh, you might think that just completely unfettered, someone would be as creative as ever. Um, I didn't mean, mean for that to rhyme, but, you know, we do what we do anyway. <laughs> Um, but actually, no, uh, at the start of the pandemic in 2020, I learned this quote that said, um, oh, what was it? it was that limitation breeds creativity. And I, at the beginning of that, at the beginning of the pandemic, I was trying to look at the pandemic as a limitation that would increase my creativity. Lo and behold, it definitely did because I started my own business as a, I uh, started out as a graphic designer and marketer. Then it went to graphic design and then it went to graphic design and illustration. Then it went to graphic design, illustration and comic art. And uh, yeah. So the limitation aspect is actually one of the reasons why I really like client work and a lot of other artists would say that they don't like the limitations that clients set on them and I say that's totally fine I really enjoy it I look at limitations like safe or not safe limitations but like you know like okay limitations as things like a, a schedule or a structure to build your art off of or your design or your life your decisions, um, having having values that you stand by no matter what, those are a really good limitation to to build your life off of. And um, the limitations that life gives you in general, they could be seen as blockages or resistance, or they can be seen as helpful limitations that like breed your creativity more. They encourage you to be more creative, more resilient, more um, more imaginative. I find human imagination fascinating. I think that it's so interesting that we can be so meta in understanding and imagining what it is like to be a brain, and yet we are brains. We are humans, and it's just, ain't it crazy being alive? It's just crazy. I love it. I love, I love the psychology. I love 
the symbolism, I love the art, I love everything about imagination and being a human and creating and I I really like to do that for my clients. I like to give that to my clients. That kind of um, imaginative flair. And with my imagination power and their imagination power, we can create more unseen realities that are unfolding before us. And that is literally amazing. Um, so if you have enjoyed this video, I appreciate you uh, spending your time with me. And if you would like to subscribe for more awesome content like this, I would very much appreciate it. I am making videos like this very regularly now, and um, I look forward to seeing you in my comment section. Happy imagination! Bye!